And I just want to show you a uh, common problem with a lot of the, uh, the Fords and Mercury's, the upper ball joints. The way you check a ball joint is you jack up a lower suspension, take the weight off of the, uh, off of the tire, and then you would uh, put a pipe underneath the wheel and you can rock it back and forth, up and down, to actually make sure if the joint is bad. This particular car, I already checked the lowers, the lower looks okay, but this is the upper. And that joint is ready to fall pretty much right out of the car. So uh, let me just show you uh, uh, how we take that apart. I'll get it up on the lift and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But um, this one is ready to fall right out of the car. There's not much holding that in there. Okay, this is after we have the wheel off. I'm going to show you how to, uh, to remove the ball joint. Uh, obviously, this is the, uh, the upper ball joint is right here. The way we're going to take it off is we're going to support the lower control arm. I put a jack underneath it to hold the jack, the uh, lower control arm from dropping down too far. Um, we're going to take out this bolt right here. We're going to remove these two nuts up on top here, and then we're going to take the ball joint out. So uh, let me get started, and I'll show you how it goes. Um, you, could use, uh, you could use a ratchet, or you could use the, uh, the impact uh, gun to take it off. In this particular case, I'm going to use the impact gun. It makes it a little bit easier, a little less time, but you could do it by hand. It's not a problem. Right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a, uh, this nut on this side here. Just tap on the, uh, on the stud, and it pretty much comes out not all the way, but it comes out fairly decent. And if it's stuck or rusted or whatever, you can just hit it a little bit more and, and get it out of there if need be. You can just change it, um, and then use a, a, a punch to drive the drive it out. Most likely be reusing. We're going to be reusing this bolt, so we're going to save it. Now we're going to uh, take out these uh, two bolts up here. If you can get in there with an air gun, you want to do with an air gun, fine. If not, you can do it with a uh, Unscrew the uh, nuts on top. I'm going to be reusing this nut. So hold on to it.
can see a lot of times the, uh, the joint gets stuck in there and you can't get it out. So let me show you what we'll do. Okay, a lot of times the, uh, from age, it gets very rusty and you can't get the joint to come out. So what we're going to do is right up underneath here, there's a little slot right here. We're going to get in there with a chisel and open it up a little bit just so we can get it to, uh, to come out. So you put the chisel up in there like that, right in between here, and you just tap it a couple times and it opens up. So uh, let me show you how that goes. As you can see, sometimes it is extremely, extremely rusty. Okay. But you just keep tapping on the, uh, on the joint. I hope you could see what I was doing. You keep tapping on it, and we'll get the, uh, the joint to pop right out, but that's the part that's pretty rusty there. And as you can see, this joint, it was really ready to fall right out of the car. Now, and the way we put it back together, with everything, a little grease makes it go a lot easier. Just grease it up real good. And you can just tap it very lightly. Okay. Let me just tap this in and I'll show you what I'm looking for. doing is tapping that down just so I can get this bolt back through the, uh, the ball joint. And you just tap it through. Right. Now. now when you have this what I show, what, I'm, what I was looking for inside there is when this joint comes down through the steering knuckle here, you see this little slot right here? Right through there is where the bolt has to go. This bolt that you just put in here has to go right through that slot there. Not above and not below. It has to go right in that slot and it keeps the joint from popping out of the, uh, the steering knuckle itself. So now that I got that caught, we'll uh, put the rest of the bolts back on there and get it back together. Put your, uh, your pieces back on that you took off. Same thing here, we can put them back on. Just happened to lift one. Okay, 
push the nuts back on. And then you can tighten everything back up. If you're going through the top up here, you can get in here with an air gun. And you can shoot it on an air gun if you have it. If not, you just tighten it up with a, with a fairly large ratchet. Or in this case, a uh, breaker bar. Alright, so the office is tight. Now we're just going to tighten up this nut here on the uh, ball joint. We just need to install our grease fitting. And just tighten the fitting, the grease fitting up. What I always do is have the grease fitting always facing to the back of the car. It gives you a little bit more, so it doesn't get dirty with the road to break. That's it. So we have the two bolts are tight. This bolt here is tight. The ball joint's in. We're going to pack it up. We're going to pump it up with some grease, put the wheel on, and we're all set. Okay, now we got everything back together. Um, bolt is tight. The uh, grease fitting is in. We greased everything up. The bolts on the upper control arm are tight. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do the ball joint on the other side. After we do the ball joint on the other side, we're going to get the wheel alignment reset, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.